And today, I'm happy to be back here. Finally, uh, our schedule do not uh, usually uh, match because of so many... Uh, Last week, you were in Marawi, the yes. secretary told us. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and today, I uh, I uh, came with uh, two of the, the uh, yes. very able spokesperson. Please introduce them. Yeah, we have Colonel Aguilar. Medel Aguilar. Medel Aguilar. The spokesperson of the armed forces of the Philippines, and we have uh, Colonel Sir Cesc Trinidad, former spokesperson of the Philippine Army, now head of the uh, chief of the uh, public affairs office of the armed forces of the Philippines. Si Ruki Ileto will go on schooling, so it's now uh, Sir Cesc. Uh, Is he advanced son of the late Rocky? At least that relative. So again, uh, I'm happy to be here, and uh, good morning to all of you. Okay, sir. As I was telling them a while ago, I was listening to this our integrated program, where Defense Secretary Gibo and Chef Pidorce being interviewed again on the hot topic of the day or the week of the past weeks. And I would like to start it off because I know this many of us here would like to start off with a ban, literally <laughs> with a ban. And as the Defense Secretary said. We cannot afford to go to war, but we are ready, able, and willing. But as far as the armed forces of the Philippines is concerned, what is your take on the current, in the latest of the harassment provocations of the other side? Uh, well, so uh, the other day we were called to Malacanang by uh, no less than the President of the Republic and our Commander in Chief. Yes. Uh, President uh, Ferdinand Bongbong of Walter Marcos Jr. Uh, he called for the uh, security and defense cluster to talk about specifically what happened last Sunday in uh, the West Philippine Sea. And as you know, we had a uh, resupply uh, mission for our soldiers uh, who are staying at the BRP Sierra Madre in Ayumin Show. Ayun po, that is our mandate, it is our obligation to continuously give, provide uh, provisions or, or supplies to our soldiers who are based not just in Ayungin Show, but in uh, so many other uh, features that we occupy also. So our take on that is that uh, the, the actions of China are really illegal, they are aggressive, and they are very dangerous. And we saw an escalation of these uh, actions by China. And of course, we are worried. We are worried, ma'am. Uh, we will admit na uh, napapahala kami. But as mentioned by uh, the Secretary of National Defense, Secretary uh, Gilberto Chidoro Jr., the armed forces of the Philippines is willing, you know, very much willing to defend our territory. In fact, we are one of the most experienced armed forces around the world. Why is that? Because we have been fighting several wars no? since the uh, late uh, 1800s up to today. No? Uh, we have been involved in uh, in uh, wars or conflicts. So, kaya po tayo, yung mga sundanong Pilipino, ay isa sa mga pinakadalubhasa na mga sundano sa buong mundo. We are really, really well experienced. In fact, some of the uh, our partners and allies, the more developed armed forces, they come to us to uh, to train with us and also to uh, listen to the experiences that uh, we went through. So, ang kulang na lang po sa atin ay uh, yung uh, kagamitan, no? modernized weapon systems, modernized platforms, and uh, we have had already a lot of gains when it comes to modernization. We are now third horizon. So for the first and second horizon, although hindi po kompleto ito, marami na tayo nakuha. No? For instance, may mga bagong jet fighters tayo, yung FA-50, meron tayong mga bagong uh, helicopters, the Black Hawk helicopters, we have attack helicopters. No? We also have new ships, we have corvettes, we have frigates, and then we have... Uh, multi-role uh, ships, and uh, we also have tanks, uh, 
uh, armored personnel carrier. We also have for the army, we have uh, the self-propelled 155 howitzers. We also have modernized C4 I Star equipment. These are the command and control computer systems uh, that we have. However, kulang pa ho ito, kulang na kulang pa. So talagang uh, kaya uh, nananawagan kami sa ating mga uh, miyembro ng Kongreso na suportahan yung ating arm, yung modernization program ng Armed Forces of the Philippines. At uh, ang pinupush sana na is that uh, if we can have a percentage of GDP no, uh, set aside or dedicated for defense and our the, the, our defense and the development of our defense uh, industries, then that would be very beneficial to our country. No? Kasi nga po ang pinidevelop natin also is the SRDP or the Self-Reliant Defense Posture Program. Gusto ho natin na tayo mismo ang gagawa ng ating mga paril, yung ating mga bala, yung ating mga rockets. No? Uh, let me end um, this uh, statement by just saying that we had already our own defense industry in the past. We were, in fact, manufacturing our own uh, rifles. Up to now, we are manufacturing our ammunition, pero kulang pa ito. We had our first rocket, yung bong-bong rocket, if you recall. Bong-bong? bong rocket ang tawag natin. Hindi naman yung bambu, ah. Hindi naman mga hindi ito, ito yung bump. This is a rocket. No? May, meron tayong nakadisplay sa Navy. Yung bongbong rocket. Uh, bongbong as in bongbong Marcos? Bongbong Marcos. It was named after uh, the current president. But developed by the former president. No? Bongbong rockets. Uh, these were Navy uh, rockets uh, that, that were on board ships. No? Meron tayong rockets noon. Uh, we also had our own radio sets uh, and, and the like. Pero no? like, nasa museum na lang. Nasa museum na ngayon. Ngayon na gusto natin i-develop ulit yung industry natin ngayon. Uh, we want to, uh, for example, make our own drones. Uh, last year pumunta ako sa Vietnam. Makita ko, no? Vietnam ha. Dati, we were advanced. More advanced than Vietnam. Ngayon, sila ay gumagawa ng sa sarili nilang mga paril, bana, even drones. Nakita namin, pinakita sa amin yung mga drones. And we have the expertise. We have the IT expertise yes, for that. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, another aspect that we would like to develop for the armed forces is uh, the cyber warfare capability. Kayang-kaya natin lumaban dyan. Ang daming matatalinong mga Pilipino when it comes to cyber. So, yun po yung mga gusto natin gawin. Yes. Uh, I just start off from the, the last one, the cyber warfare. How can you be so uh, cyber warfare uh, uh, expert when no less when Joseph goes to WPS, he is welcomed by China, Telco. We are drowned by the Chinese, the cyberspace walang talo na tayo. So, other than the three present Telcos, what can the AFP do? Well, uh, alam niyo po, we can do a lot of things. Uh, even if we depend very uh, extensively on uh, on networks that are foreign to us, no? wala tayong control dyan sa mga networks na yan. But, no, yung sarili natin, we can uh, develop our own uh, networks and our own cyber capability. So, uh, alam niyo po, halos everyday we experience attacks. So, uh, attempts to attack our our system. But uh, so far, we have been uh, successful in working of these attacks, in protecting our networks. Uh, so, we want to maintain that. Pero alam naman natin na ang mga hackers, for instance, would really, really try to look for yung mga areas that they could penetrate into uh, the system. So, tuloy-tuloy rin yung pag-develop natin. And uh, as I said, ma'am, we are developing the cyber command yeah. of the armed forces of the Philippines. 
we will pour in more resources, pour in uh, 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 hardware and software, but more importantly, we will recruit cyber warriors. Ano bang idea mo sir ng cyber command? Uh, so, pattern po ito sa nakita natin sa mga, mga modern uh, armies like the cyber command of the uh, United States Armed Forces. Uh, so, Singapore, for instance, they created their own uh, service which is yeah. equal to the Army, Air Force, and the Navy. Ang tawag nila DIS, no? Digital and Information Service. Pero dito, kaya gumawa sila ng bagong service na ito because they realize that the cyber warriors that they would like to, to recruit would sometimes not conform with the normal uh, recruitment uh, requirements. For instance, sa recruitment natin, kailangan makagawa sila ng mga 20 push-ups, for instance. Kailangan makatakpo sila ng mabilis within this number of uh, minutes to complete two, two miles. Kasi military, ano nga? Yeah, military, kailangan malakas. Military, no? discipline. military discipline. Pero nga na-realize nila na yung mga magagaling sa cyber Mag-gangling, ay kaya, hindi na... Not athletic. No? In general, I mean, hindi naman natin hindi na lahat. No? Uh-huh. Hindi naman lahat. But, uh, Basta hindi sakitin. Yes, totoo yun. Uh, so, so, importante na ang makuha natin yung skills nila, yung intellect nila, yeah. rather than yung muscles nila. So, kaya po yung good, ganun yung ginawa ng Singapore. But we will not do this here. Why? However, we will relax some of our recruitment requirements okay. you know, for them. You know? okay. Parang special enlistment, kumbaga may, may special na considerations. Wow. Uh-huh. And not to mention the pay. The pay, Alam niyo, mas mataas ngayon ang sweldo ng, ng mga sundalo compared yes. to the entry level sa lakas. Oh, kaya nga, hindi na, na, ka mag-teachers. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh. You were pampered during the third administration. But we are encouraging naman na sana tumas din yung mga sweldo ng teachers natin. Alam niyo, katulad niyo yun, election ma'am, election. Yeah. Yung teachers natin, sila yung backbone ng teacher natin. Uh, Kung wala po yung mga teachers, eh, hindi aandar yung ating election. Uh, Pero doon sa cyber election. command mo, magkano yung offer mo? Well, uh, wala naman special na additional sa sweldo nila, but we might give them incentives in terms of uh, promotions of ready. For instance, baka hindi na sila dadan sa private. May mga ganun mga tayo. Eh. For instance, uh, when we recruit doctors, Lawyers, hindi sila dadaan sa lutena, captain ka agad sila. Ah, yung lateral entry. Parang ganun, ma'am. Oh, parang ganun. Uh-huh. So, pinag-aaralan pa naman natin. But of course, we have to be competitive with uh, the captain? industry. Captain, magkano kayo ang captain? Ng captain? Siguro mga 60? 56,000 base pay, ah. base pay lang yun. Pero kung datagtagan mo, ng yung ibang mga allowances, yes. aabot ito ng mga 66 siguro, 67. 70. 70. Okay. 70, uh-huh. di ba? Starting na naman yun. Sta- starting. Start not up. bad, uh-huh. not bad. Uh-huh. Pero sabi mo kanina, <laughs> you're gonna ask for support from Congress on the Cyber Command. It's not, it, has, it has not need any legislation, no? It's not administrative, but you know the support yes. yeah. for what the equipment, yes, and, uh, the pay, equipment, uh, uh, the equipment, the networks, uh, the software. So, kasama ko lahat yan eh. Kasama uh, sa lahat Singapore yan. model, kagayahin nyo, you're going to put up your own. No, no. We are not going to follow the Singapore model. Kasi sa kanila talagang separate service eh. Kaya nga, sir. Katumbas ng Army, Air Force, Navy, DIS. Sa atin, hindi. We, we will just uh, uh, parang relax the requirements. Yeah, I mean, on the part of the hardware. Oh, uh, you don't have to rely with Globe, Smart, or Dito. Well, we are, that's the ideal, mm-hmm. very ideal. Oh. Yung sarili natin network, no? But of course, uh, mahirap yun. That will entail a lot of cost. So, ang gagawin po natin is that uh, we will just uh, work with the existing networks, but we will make sure that we have uh, the right kind of equipment to protect us. Firewalls, 
Uh, and, Ang kaso mo, sir, kung kapag ang globe, wawawin ang kanilang partner. Wawawin. Totoo yun. So, paano mo mag-protectahan yung ano kung tag-globe o ano? This is not to ano, but at the same time. Alam niyo, uh, kaya naman natin, ma'am, uh, yung firewalls natin will be at our uh, own networks. Sa sarili natin networks, yung hmm. firewalls natin. Pero nabanggit ko kanina, there's so many attempts. Oh, yes. And the AFP, D&D, that's why the defense Secretary issued a memorandum, di ba? Yeah. Sabi yes. niya last week, you siloed the D&D AFP from their friends and others. Yes, oh. Uh, so we, we have a lot of uh, policies also governing the personnel when it comes to the use of uh, applications, for instance, TikTok. Bawal na rin. Ah, well, sabi ng, ng ating uh, Secretary of National Defense, yung paggamit natin ng AI, oh, yes. oh, may dinabas siyang uh, memo that we also have to uh, refrain from uh, using AI. Uh, AI, uh, in terms of uh, the official uh, functions of uh, the armed forces, for instance. So, going back to the uh, the WPS, um, we, do, we certainly do not want to go to war, as the previous president stated, we are not... not at par with the Chinese, ano, ano, 1 billion people, eh, plus 110 million. We certainly do not want war. But there are, is there no other means but, uh, by which the, the supply can be done without uh, having to deal with this blockades and if they cannot be talked out of this blockades? Uh, well, yes, we are uh, looking into other possibilities on how to conduct uh, the resupply mission without necessarily uh, escalating the tension already in the West Philippines. Alam niyo ma'am, this, the resupply mission is just part of our overall operations in the whole West Philippines. Yes. Ang ginagawa po kasi natin dyan is that uh, while we resupply our forces scattered in the West Philippine Sea, we, uh, the overall mission... May pag-asa pa tayo, di ba? May pag-asa pa na nasa napas ng ating uh, exclusive economic zone. Uh, and, and that is a community. May mga bata. Uh, is it outside say, our community? Yes, it's outside. Uh, but because we have occupied that island already, it is a territory and it has its own territorial waters. Oh. Uh, but uh, yun nga po yung ginagawa natin is that uh, we are conducting maritime patrol and uh, maritime defensive uh, operations. So considering that if you look at the map, I mean the uh, the, the area that's disputed South China Sea, there are more Vietnamese occupied islands actually than China. But that's why we do why we don't have any problems with Vietnam? Exactly. Because ma'am, they do not resort to these kinds of tactics. Hmm. Yung tinatawag natin na illegal, aggressive, and dangerous tactics. Sila, uh, they occupy their these features. In fact, they have 21. Uh -huh. Tayo, we have 9. Uh -huh. uh, the Chinese have 7. Uh -huh. But for the Chinese, they develop this really big Chip. artificial islands. Na hindi natin na-detect. Na-detect na, na naman natin pa, pero wala tayo okay. yung nagawa. And then, ngayon, militarized ngayon itong mga artificial islands na ito. Uh -huh. So, uh, what more can we do? Uh, yes. So, any other resupply na uh, we have escalating the, no? not escalating the tension? Well, uh, sabi ni dating, uh, ah, sabi ni Commander, uh, I'm sorry, Commander of the West Western Command, uh -huh. si Admiral uh, Carlos, uh, formerly, what they, what they did was that they just sent the Tunay sa May, mga sibilyan lang oh, yeah, ang pupunta. Yeah. So, napansin nila na hindi naman binablock. Actually, ang binablock dati, yung mga Coast Guard or yung mga Navy. However, in the last, uh, in the last resupply mission, nagulat kami, no? Na talagang 
pati yung punay sa main natin eh, talagang pinablock. Kasi may construction materials daw dinadala. Oo. Eh, iyon pa ma'am eh. Sa akin lang ha, bilang uh, chief of staff of armed forces of the Philippines, I really believe that we have the right to repair the ship. Oh. No? Because that is a commission Philippine Navy ship. Kahit na nagdun po siya, nabala ko dun sa ayungin siya, karapatan natin na ayusin yun. Yes. No? So, for me, China has no right to tell us not to repair that while they themselves have created these uh, artificial islands. Hindi naman tayo nakialam, hindi naman natin sinabi, don't do that. Hindi naman natin sinabi na don't bring in missile systems into these artificial islands. Sila na nakikialam pa doon. No? Uh, napakalaki ng imbalance. Yes. Ang oh, nakakainis pa dyan, um, sabi nga ni Defense Secretary kanina sa DCRD, you don't know who you are talking with. Because right now, the Defense, Secretary, the Defense Minister and the Chinese Foreign Minister have been terminated. So he cannot reach out to his counterpart. Yes, yes. Do you, your counterpart in the AU, you can try to reach out with the PLA? Uh, no. Uh, although, uh, uh, in the recent Chief of Defense uh, meeting in Fiji, where there were 20, about 24 uh, Chiefs of Defense from different countries, it was the first time that China sent a representative. And I was there. Yeah. And I was given the opportunity to present uh, what was happening in the West Philippine Sea. So, pinakita ko lahat yun. Pati video ng water cannoning, oh, yeah. video ng pag-laser point nila yeah. no, sa atin. At uh, nagulat yung representative ng China na nagkot. He attended for the first time. The chief of staff? Not the chief of staff, but the deputy. Okay. Yung deputy ang pinatala nila. Oh, always deputy. Yeah, but uh, that was the first time that I had the opportunity to interact with a high military official from, uh, from, from China, yeah, from the People's Liberation Army. Ano reaction niya? Lumapit sa'yo? Uh, Apologies man lang? Well, nauna kasi yung presentation ko. Oh. Naunahan sila. Oh. And then, uh, nag-react naman sila. Ito yung reaction nila, ang sabi nila. Number one, South China Sea is ours because of historical claims, sabi niya. Number two, sabi niya, we follow or obey international laws. And number three, we do not uh, agree or accept the 2016 arbitral ruling. For us, it is only drama. So, yun yung sinabi. So, sumugot rin naman. Sabi ko, when if you have historical claims of over the uh, South China Sea, we also have historical claims over the West Philippine Sea. Kaya nga po, pagka chinachallenge tayo sa tagat at sinasabi nila na uh, they're driving us away. Sinasabi nila na go away, this is Chinese territory. Sumasagot rin tayo. Nagka-counter challenge rin tayo. Kuminsan tayo na una, chinachallenge natin sila. That this is uh, a Philippine Navy vessel, for instance, no? Philippine Navy vessel uh, traveling in our exclusive economic zone, performing legal operations. Do not block our path uh, or distract uh, our operations. So, ganun, ganun pa yung mga challenges na ginagawa natin. Uh, I just would like to take this opportunity to for you to load the PRP share of Madre personnel. At any one point of time, siyempre may constant but change there. Right now, how many? Basta uh, yung uh, just load them for the... Oh, yes. Uh, we would like to, of course, uh, commend our troops in the Ayumin show you know, for the courage, the bravery that they are uh, exhibiting. Hindi po madali na ma-assign doon no? sa Sierra Madre. At uh, ganun din po yung ating uh, congratulations and commendations sa lahat ng mga sundalo natin that are assigned in all the features. Mahirap po, no? Uh, in fact, meron silang loneliness pay. 
Ah, talaga. Oh, loneliness and hardship pay. They're entitled to that. Kasi talagang napakalayo po. But uh, ang ginawa po natin, para hindi naman sila masyadong lonely, nagkabit tayo ng internet. <laughs> Pati sa Sierra Madre. Pati sa Sierra Madre. Kaya nakakausap po sila. I can talk to them through uh, video teleconferencing. Uh, so meron tayong mga sistema na in place. Uh, for instance, dumadaan tayo sa satellite, you don't have to pass through the networks. Yes. Yung telcos. Kaya, yung, na, kaya secure yun. Secure oh. yung uh, communication natin. Oh. And they can also talk to their loved ones. Kaya hindi na sila masyadong lonely doon. Siguro putuli na natin yung loneliness pain nila. <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. But we would like also to comment yung mga sailors natin who time and again no, would go out in the sea, face the challenges and the dangers posed by uh, foreign vessels on our ships. No? And they still continue performing their, their duties. Kasama rin natin yung, yung mga personal ng Coast Guard dito. No? Matatapang sila. Matatapang. Yung nakita ko mga video nyo, may mga aerial, merong, yes. uh, and somewhat in the skyline, mga US ships, uh, US flight, uh, plane. Yes. It's not their way of showing their Support. Yes, yes, that is part of the support. No? Hindi ko bago itong ganito. Uh, in fact, this was uh, this was already done during the Marawi siege. Na pinutulungan tayo ng ating mga allies and partners in terms of technical data. So lumilipad po yung kanilang mga ISR. Uh, uh, intelligence or reconnaissance uh, Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance you know, uh, systems, ISR. Uh, drones. Uh, drones, uh, mga aeroplano. But uh, they, they provided us very vital information. And the same thing here in the West Philippine Sea. So talagang, uh, at, uh, I would, we would like also to commend no, yung mga brave uh, members of the media na sumasama dun sa mga resupply missions natin. Si Joseph, no? Yes. Oh. Sumasama sila doon. Endangering their lives. So, in the line of duty daw. Dapat may hazard pay ito. Huwag, hindi lonely, lonely pay hazard. Anyway, I heard, also, I heard you also last week. Ah, uh, no, just last Wednesday. Uh, saying, this uh, underscores the need for the revival of the ROTC and you cited Ukraine and the Israel and all yes. for the citizens' warriors. Yes. Do you think how you foresee such a situation? It might be that uh, kind of time for the citizens' warriors. We are praying that it will not happen. Not on wood. No? But uh, we have to prepare. No? Yun po ang gusto natin ipaabot sa ating mga kababayan. Dapat maghanda tayo. Because we can never predict when this type of service would be needed. The service of our reservists. Kung makikita po natin sa Ukraine, no? uh, the Russia-Ukraine war, hindi naman akalain ng mga Ukrainians na aatake. A lot of people were saying it's impossible that Russia would attack Ukraine, but it happened. And then here now in Israel, uh, Israel was caught off guard no? when the Hamas attacked uh, the borders of, uh, of uh, Israel. And who defended Israel during the first hours of the attack? The citizen warriors. Hello. 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 Yung mga citizen warriors mismo ang lumaban. No? May mga daming videos na gano'n. No? Pati matatanda, lumabas. May mga daladala nila yung mga armas nila because they are reservists. And they have developed that that uh, love for their country, patriotism for the country. But more than that, they have prepared themselves. Kaya marunong sila. No? Marunong silang bumarin. Alam nila yung mga basic na, na military uh, tactics. So, ganun rin po yung gusto natin dito. Mangyari sa ating bayan. We prepare our citizens. Hindi naman po lahat tayo. 
of the able-bodied citizens would help us uh, when the need arises and we have to prepare for either man-made threats or even natural threats, you know, disasters, calamities. For instance, ma'am, you know, yung uh, kinakatakutan natin at the big one pag nangyaring malaking earthquake dito sa Metro Manila. Kung umaasa tayo lang sa mga sundalo, uh, hindi po kaya na uh, sundalo or police or Coast Guard or fire Just 150,000 men yes, and yes, women? Yes, ma'am. Even if you combine the police and the firemen, no? huwag tayong umasa sa mga uniform services. No? Even the... Uh, the civil defense. So, dapat lahat tayo, handa tayo lahat. So, we have that, we should have that mindset that we should be prepared for any of these eventualities. But, is the AAP ready and prepared to implement our own PCB? Because now yeah. in advanced stages. Yes. So, on our part, since last year, we have been preparing already. We have been conducting trainings for the, for our trainers. Yung mga mag-handle po ng ROTC have been going through training. Ang dapat military personnel. Uh, military personnel, ma'am. Tapos tinetrain na natin sila. Uh, although hindi kami ang lead agency dito sa ROTC. No? Uh, Dep Ed or Jet. But uh, we will be helping in the implementation. Pero sabi namin, dapat yung mag-handle ng ROTC are professionals. Very competent. They have a high degree of integrity. No? Kasi ayaw na natin... Walang hazing. Wala na. Ayaw na natin maulit, ma'am, yung mga, yung mga experience, bad experiences natin in the past. For instance, may mga hazing. Kaya biglang natanggal yung ROTC dahil sa mga hazing. May yeah. mga no? yeah. uh, Yung mga, uh, for example, business, ginawang business yung ROTC. Kung mag ROTC, magbahay ka na lang. Yes, oh, ma'am. At the end of the sem, may grade ka na. Oh. No? Uh, hindi na pwede yun. Uh, hindi na pwede. And also, Paano kung nasabi hindi na pwede? Uh, mali pa yung mga yun eh. So, yeah, I mean, is it in the rules? Is it in the law? Well, uh, Penalize na? Criminalize na? Oh, yes, 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 ma'am. Uh, yes. Uh, so, ang gagawin natin yun is uh, that we, we will make sure na pagka na-implement na yung ROTC, talagang very professional yung mga sultano natin. No? And, uh, uh, aside from that, Babaguhin natin yung konsepto. Hindi na puro marcha-marcha. Nung kami po mga ROTC cadets, puro marcha-marcha, linggo-linggo, oh. nasa, ah, oh. nasa arawan kami. Oh. Oh. kami si, baka si Joseph na experience mo yun. Eh. Oh. No? So, ano ROTC. Concept yun? Ngayon, we will really train them for the skills that, they, that we need. For instance, kung yung estudyante po natin ay uh, medical student oh. or nurse, oh. uh, related doon yung kanyang magiging trabaho kung sakaling nagkaroon ng gera. Uh, and then, if engineers naman yung mga estudyante natin, construction, construction of uh, bunkers, uh, geared na sa kanilang course. Yes, of bridges, para makatawid yung mga tangke, yes, and so on. So, related na po. Sa nabanggit mga Israel, and the Hamas, and the UN, do you see any palpable signs of foreign terrorism? into the Philippine Yan, yan. Binabantayan natin yan, yun. No? Kasi nagtawag ng international hijat, hi, uh, jihad, jihad, yung uh, Hamas. Kaya nga po yung Hezbollah, sumama na. No? Uh, and fortunately here in the Philippines, uh, inalerto natin lahat ng mga commanders natin, pati polis, no? Nag naging uh, alerto for possible spillovers nung uh, nangyayari ngayon sa Israel. You were in Marawi? Yes, yes. We were in, I was in Marawi yeah, City. Last, last week. That time. Ah, during that, even that time? During that day, ma'am. I mean, uh, last Marawi week. Marawi Sheets. Yeah. It, we commemorated the sixth uh, anniversary of the liberation of Marawi. Oh, And while I was there, I talked to the commanders. Pati na rin yung mga local executives natin. Nagtanong-tanong ako, may naririnig pa kayo ng mga possible na mga maute, uh, oh, na atake na naman ISIS dahil na, na emboldened sila da, sa tawag ng Hamas. Wala naman daw, ma'am. Wala. But just the same, uh, we are calling on our brothers and sisters na kapag meron po kayong balak na 
sumama dun sa jihad, no? ay huwag na po niyong ituloy yung balak ninyo. No? Because uh, our uniformed personnel are on the lookout. We are vigilant for any possible attacks. And uh, sana naman ay uh, uh, spare na natin itong bansa natin because we need, we, we really need to unite no, together so that we would progress. Tama na, tapos na po yung mga, yung mga labanan na yun, yung mga terrorists attack, attacks. In fact, marami na tayong na, nagawang progreso in this aspect. If you will see, for the past three years, no, tatlong taon na po, no, wala tayong naririnig, naririnig na mga kidnap for ransom na nangyayari sa Sulu, sa Basilan, Tawi-Tawi, sa Buanga, no, or elsewhere in Mindanao. Wala na pong ganun. No? And that is a one uh, indicator of uh, the success of our campaign against terrorism in the country. So, tapos na yun. Let's move on. In fact, yung mga yung mga ter uh, foreign terrorists no na, na, na marami po dito sa bansa natin wala na po tayong foreign terrorists kayo uh, uh, wala na so, yes, wala na po uh, border controls na ano na take over na border controls yes, yes. anyway sir napanggit ko din kanina about the teachers and that what October 30 barangay election how prepared is the AFP for that so uh ay din ba magiging member ng election board no, hindi po kami, hindi, hindi po trabaho ng ah, forces. Pulis. Pulis yun. Uh, just in case, kulang po yung mga teachers, papasok yung mga pulis natin. But the armed forces is there to support uh, the election. Uh, we have been uh, deputized by the Comelec to help ensure the uh, peaceful, orderly, and honest uh, conduct of the elections. So, Marami na po tayong ginawang mga command conferences. Pero tatlo, nakabay no? ka ako na kandidato ko para kay chairman sa oh. Pindanang Tabaw de Oro, yes. sa Patabato. Ang dami po. Oh. Oh. Uh, nationwide. But uh, of course, ang lead dyan is the Philippine National Police. Pero nandyan po ang mga sundalo natin na tutulong. Yung mga uh, gugulo. Yes. On October 30, what do we expect from the AFP? Well, uh, we, will, we will be uh, on alert. And uh, we will be deploying our soldiers, to, especially to the hot spots uh, for this election. Tuloy-tuloy po yung support natin. In fact, uh, nag-deploy na po tayo sa Maguindanao, nag-deploy na rin po tayo sa APRA ng additional law okay, courses. Okay, number one, medyo maraming papatay. Sir, my last two topics with you. Uh, internal threats, sabi mo, success po tayo sa terrorism and uh, constitutional is wala na yan, virtually how about the uh, CTP NPA na in the NPF El Cap na nakikipag sa um, upper ground Saiwar and everything? How about on the military side? Yes, uh, we can uh, bravely say that we have been successful in uh, our counterinsurgency campaign. So dati po, umabot sila ng 25,000 fighters. No? Sa ngayon, they are a little over a thousand na lang. So, a little po, over a thousand? Yes. Over a thousand armed? Armed. Oo, ito po yung mga may armas. At wala na po tayong mga active guerrilla fronts. In other words, they do not uh, enjoy the support of uh, yung taong bayan, yung masa na tinatawag nila. So, may mga, may mga weekend na guerrilla fronts at may mga o konti na lang po ng mga vertical formations ang tawag namin dyan. Ito po yung mga armado na umiikot-ikot. No? Pero halos wala na po silang control no, sa country side. But they can create trouble, especially yes. the October 30 elections. Oo. Na Alam niyo po, uh, last year, up or nung nakaraan, marami na sana nang mag... mag uh, mag-surrender nung nakarang election, no? the presidential, uh, the national election. Ang dami sana mag-surrender ng mga NPA. Pero yung mga nakausap namin, sabi nila, uh, hindi muna sila mag-surrender 
Kasi mangungulekta muna sila ng permit to campaign and permit to win. Ganun na naman dito sa election na ito. Sa harap na election? Sa election. So, nananawagan kami sa ating mga kababayan, lalong-lalo na yung mga tatakbong uh, uh, parang kay Captain, no, Tagawat, SK Chairman, and uh, members na huwag na kayong magbigay sa mga nag e no? Huwag na po, kasi talagang... Uh, meron pala, meron pang... Meron pa rin. Kasi sa barangay? Yes. I would not be surprised kung yung sa national last year. Oo, oh, hindi pa rin yung pati ah, barangay. Pero yung intelligence, how much ang kinita nila last year? Baka kabili sila ng new arms na naman yan, new weapons. Oh. Hindi na po kasing laki. No, oh. Nung na, mga naupuan. Ano intelligence, no, person nyo? Naka, how much they were? Oo, oh, wala akong figure ngayon, ma'am. I don't have the figures. Oh. Wala pang IRS dyan. Ay, 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 IRS. BIR. Oo, oh, wala, wala. Yun na lang po kasi yung uh, natitirang mga incentives. Kumbaga, incentives nila. No? Because they can still export money from uh, businesses. Pero naisang pa rin kayo, di ba? Nung mga kidnap niya, tapos yun pala oh, oh. nag-turn around sa press court. Oh. Naisang kayo doon. Ano yun? Oh. Poor intelligence or what? Hindi ba? Mukhang deliberate talaga yung ginawa nila. On the, on the part of the armed forces, very very sincere yung aming effort na tawagin sila, magbagong buhay sila, tinulungan namin. Yun nangyari ngayon. So, uh, ito ang totoong nangyari. No? Talagang, nung nawala ko sila, uh, walang kinalaman yung armed forces doon. No? But suddenly, they resurfaced and they were willing to surrender. So, tinulungan natin sila. Sila pa mismo ang nagdikta kung saan sila susunduin. No? Sila po mismo. No? Unfortunately, hindi tayo nakagawa ng video. Pictures lang nung sinundu po natin sila. Pinala sa kampo, first hour, pinakain natin sa sila. Sa kampo mo ng 70 infantry battalion. O, tapos, Ayun, Donya Remedios Trinidad. Sa... Bulakan. Bulakan, bulakan. Tapos, pinakain namin natin sila. Nagtawag tayo ng medical personnel para i-check up sila na walang, wala silang mga... Uh, oh, wala. So, wala. Cleared sila. And then, that same day, tinawag na natin yung Commission on Human Rights, yung parents, tumating yung parents that day. Uh, and then, nagtawag na rin po tayo ng representative from uh, the public authorities office. Oh, uh, affidavit sila. So, nag-affidavit sila. Sila na mismo. And then, pati yung parent, yung tatay ng isa ni, ni Jet. Tinunong uh, pa yung anak niya. Anak, uh, sigurado ka ba sa sinulat mo? Baka gusto mong kalitan. Baka meron kang gusto mong kalitan. Uh, wala na po. Yun na. Yun na po. And then, may video pa nung... No? Uh, so really, uh, we thought that uh, everything was okay. That is why we were, in fact, malakas loob nung, nung NPF LCAC na i-present sa media kasi na, napakaganda nung treatment natin sa kanila. And the, the objective was to encourage others also to come forward. No? Not really, huwag na natin gamitin yung word na surrender, but to come forward and uh, enjoy the benefits of uh, yung pagbabalik mo. So, uh, nagulat na lang kami nung biglang, biglang uh, nag-press con, bumalik na sila. No? That is why the armed forces uh, filed uh, perjury charges against them. Abay ba yung patukso lang ah? Kasalanan pala ng NTFL ka, ginamit sa salinja. Nag-rack sila in short. Si Dele Sobrang, uh, very fond of presentation to me. They're not rock sila. Well, well lessons learned. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. No. So next time, magmaya sama rin ang PSL Cup. Kasi nagiging liability sila. They attract more of, uh, opposition, more objective. You are doing your job right. Yeah. They're doing that. But I think more of a silent movement. Yeah. Yeah. Being all around the media, talagang tap sila. Tapos sa last week, din, pinakso ko si Secretary Sibo, na isa na ang militar intelligence, hindi talagang sinabi na niya na charge sa kamil ng perjury. Pero hindi ko nalalaman na ang NDF, ang pakanapala ng media, 
So they were trapped. Here they were, they were the ones who got it trapped to this one side. Lesson learned. Take it from me. Oh, my last topic for you. MUP. Sabi ni Secretary Dibo. Nakala na military consultation ng DOS. But that's not enough. How can you expect the military to your people to speak up? They're trained and disciplined. So, what are your sentiments? Well, uh, masaya po kami na napakinggan naman yung bosses ng ating mga sundalo because in the version of the lower house, ay, uh, in fact, mas marami pa nga kaming nakuha ng na beneficyo than what we expected or requested. Unang-una, sabi po namin, sana po ay hindi na mag-contribute yung mga sundalo natin. No? At yung mga retirado ng mga sundalo. Uh, at nag-grant naman ito. So, hindi na po kami magpo-contribute. But, the contribution will come from the new entrants, yung mga bagong that sundalo. The, actually, that was the original version. Eh? Yes. yes so. And then, pangalawa, meron pa rin yung indexation. Meaning, if the uh, pay of the soldiers would be increased, the pension of our retirees would have a corresponding increase. Dapat naman, index. Diba? Dapat naman, uh, it should uh, be. Uh, Pero ang problema, lahat, pati, ano, the entire community ng problema, the entire uh, pension. Oo. Oh, oh. yes. So ngayon, uh, ngayon po, ay, uh, yung armed forces naman is willing to come up with a, with a uh, scheme so that instead na mag-contribute yung Sundalo, individually, we have a trust fund that would take care of the uh, contributions ng mga sundalo. This trust fund will now generate funds for the pension of the soldiers. And this trust fund will not be administered by the armed forces but by a private entity or another, a third party by entity. GSIS or, or by GSIS. Or... So yun po ang mangyayari. Kaya't na malakas yung loob namin sa military na sabihin na ihiwalay nyo kami from the rest of the uniform personnel kasi kami may, we have a means. Yeah, we have the military bases. Yeah, not the military, not strategic military yes. lang to be privatized. To be privatized. Placed into a uh, trust fund. At meron pa kami RSPS na malaki pa, malaki pa ho yung assets nito na pwedeng gawing seed money para ma-generate namin yung... Magkano pa si Pan, anong matitira sa RSB? Baka 44 billion pa mo. Oo, oh, ang before pa sa staff, di ba? Yes. Nag-pwede pa lang ang gold. Doon na rin ang argument. Pero kumikita. Oo, oh, oh, mayroon ang gold. Oh. Oh. Anyway, anyway ma'am, uh, ang magandang version pa dun sa, or feature dun sa version ng lower house, is that we are assured of a 3% increase in our pay every year for the next 10 years. Wow. Uh, Kasama yun. 3% increase for the next 10 years. For the next 10 years, after wow. 10 years, pero kami 30% increase on our base pay. Wow. Uh, so, yun pa yung hindi namin in-expect, pero pinigay pa rin. Ating bonus. bonus. So, sana, sana po, ay dun sa version naman ng Senate, ay uh, sana hindi na masyadong mabago ito. Sana matagtagan pa ho. Hindi uh, <laughs> kasi alam nyo, talagang mahirap, po yung, mahirap yung trabaho ng mga yes, sundalo yes, natin. Yes. Uh, so, Kaya nga, di ba, pampered kayo ng Panami Duterte, ni Presidente Duterte, at nawala ang mga coup. Yes, wala po. Ngayon po, hindi lang dahil sa sweldo. No? But really, we have that uh, high sense of uh, responsibility and professionalism already sa mga sundalo natin umiikot ka sa mga sundalo, pati dun sa mga privates, no? ay uh, makita mo ta talagang yung kanilang dedication yeah, sa... Kaya wala na ako narinig na may human rights violation sa PNP na lang may problema. Oo, 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 oo. Ngayon, may mga naririnig kami na mga ret retiradong generals na nagmamanifesto, manifest, manifest. Ah, no? oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, ang pakiusap po namin sa kanila ay huwag na lang po sana nilang itamay yung mga nasa active service. Dahil uh, ipagpapatuloy po namin yung, yung magandang serbisyo po namin, our, uh, our dedicated and professional service to our country. Stay retired. 
Yung mga meddling, ano, mga meddling, ano. If you have no better activity, just... Well, nadaanan naman po na, naman nila yung uh, pagiging sundalo. And really, uh, napakahirap po. We should uh, really be professional and we should always support the Constitution and the duly constituted authorities. Okay. On that note, I would like to open the floor to your questions. Talaw, so, tapos na. <laughs> Joseph, nakatingin si Joseph. Oh, Ayun si, 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 si Manny Vargas. Si Manny Vargas. Si Manny. Pasguwapo mo na. Pasguwapo daw mo na. Sir, bali, yung mga mas mahirap na questions, ibibigay ko kay Sir Cess or kay Nader. Sir, sir, details. Ayan, sir, yung una lang, uh, since kayo yung end user, doon sa uh, mga bibiling gamit, Uh, meron bang, ano yung position ng user doon sa sinasabi? Kasi you mentioned yung sovereigns, number one. Um, sa isang blog na sinusundan ng marami, na sinasabi sa teaching yung magiging priority na mauuna ang sovereigns as compared to uh, surface vessels, mga barko. Mas strategic daw po yung sir kung bubuha na tayo since it's a, it's a king chamber. Maraming over. Sa, sa yes. 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 Oh. Kayo ba sir, nakikita yung sir na sa teaching kung magkakaroon agad ng sovereign ng mga sundalong Pilipino? as compared to additional vessels. And, uh, in, connected doon, sir, um, nakita natin sa sitwasyon ng Ukraine and Russia, yung malaking uh, strategic value ng drones, na medyo nyo rin kasi, sir, yun eh. Yes. Um, number one, that is cost-effective. Number two, less ang danger yes, yes. So, so sa mga professionals po. Kayo po ba, sir, um, mas nakikita rin, tutulang niyo po ba na mag-focus tayo doon compared sa big tickets like yung mga fighter jets, mga multiple best, uh, fighters? Okay, so uh, alam niyo po lahat ng mga procurement natin, acquisition of new equipment are aligned with our overall strategy. So yung overall uh, defensive strategy natin, for instance, dati kasi defense in-depth, ngayon we are projecting our defenses dun sa ating uh, uh, islands and features that we are occupying in the uh, West Philippine Sea. And also yung ating exclusive economic zone. So anong mga kailangan natin? Kailangan natin ng mga multi-role fighters. Kailangan natin ng mga parko who will be uh, present in the area. Kasi parati po natin sinasabi ang the name of the game is physical, effective presence. No? Kung sino yung marami dun sa lugar, siya yung nakakontrol. No? By the way, no, gusto ko lang sabihin na na-monitor natin dun sa Rosol Reef may mga 30, mahigit 30 na mga Chinese militia na nandyan. Saan yan, sir? Ruzul, Ruzul Reef. So, hindi sila umalis dyan. So, ngayon, nagtataka tayo kung anong ginagawa nila doon. Yeah, baka tinatakpan yung ginagawang occupation island. So, so, again, ano, dapat bantayan natin yan. Binabantayan natin yan. So, anyway, definitely, submarines have a very strategic uh, value. Kasi nga, hindi mo nakikita kung nasaan yung uh, submarines na yan. So it's a very good deterrent. Takot pumasok yung mga ibang mga bansa sa isang lugar na kung alam nila, merong mga submarines yan sa area. Pero dahil wala pa tayo yan, at alam naman natin yung ibang bansa may mga submarines, ang unang, bin yes. Ako, ang unang binili natin yung mga anti-submarine <laughs> Uh, warfare helicopters. Ito yung mga helicopters na pwedeng mag, mag-detect kung may mga submarines. Hulugan sila ng diesel. Oo, oh, ma'am. Oh. May, mga, may mga mines naman para ma-neutralize for instance. But, uh, but uh, I cannot say right now kung yun kaagad-agad ang bibili natin over ships. No? Hindi, pa, hindi pa namin naabot yun. Uh, but ang pinag-uusapan kasi we have to take into consideration the cost of submarines, for instance, and our ability to pay. So, marami naman nag-offer na sinasabi nila na uh, sale now, pay later. <laughs> no? May mga bansa na gano'n. Sige, ibigay namin yung submarine. Yung drones daw. Gamitin nyo na. Saka na kayo magbayad. Uh, may mga gano'n. So, yung drones pinaka- naman daw. Yung drones napakahalaga ng drones. Kitang-kita natin yan. Modern warfare. Ang gamit na gamit sa Ukraine, gamit na gamit sa Israel, yung drones. No? 
even yung mga kamikaze drones. Okay. Ito yung mga drones na bigla na lang magka-type, bomba na sila. No? They shift from being a drone to a to a, a bomb or a missile. So, uh, these are very, uh, again, strategic also assets, but not so costly. That is why sana nga, kung kaya natin i-develop dito sa pansa natin, yung uh, pag-manufacture ng mga drones, And I we think, have the capability. Yes, ma'am. I think again, it's very, it's not expensive to manufacture drones. And nasabi mo kanya, di ba, yung Philippine defense industry, we have that before, and they're spending it in Congress precisely for that. Yes, yes. We want to push for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, last question na lang po. Uh, regarding sa ROTC, paano po yung gagawin ng military to entice yung mas malakas suporta sa ROTC considering uh, malaki rin, malakas din yung nakumong kontra. And also, may mga... Bakit sudyante po na nagsabing kaya na wala yung scholarship namin sa ROTC. So, paano po yung tutugunan? Kasi bababa ang grade nila. Bumaba sa ROTC. Hindi, hindi mo kasama yun. Hindi kasama sa grading yun. Anyway, paano po yun? Yeah, yun nga. We will try to correct the mistakes that we had before sa dating programa ng ROTC. As I said, this time, we will come up with a new ROTC program In fact, ayaw nga namin tawagin ROTC eh. Ano na? Hindi uh, niya po ma'am, we're looking, we're thinking of uh, of uh, other names like uh, perhaps citizens, military training, parang mga tawag. Dati na eh. Oh, high school citizens. Citizens, oo. CAT. CAT. Citizens actually. Kasi yung ROTC. College yun. Technically, yung ROTC, you are training officers. Oo. Reserve Officers Training uh, uh, course, course, uh, course, ROTC. It's nowhere na. It's, it's nowhere, nowhere eh. Oh. Pero hindi naman talaga try, time at the training yun. Although we could use this as a source of our officers. So, nag-iisip kami. Kasi nga, bago na po yung konsepto natin. Na hindi puro barcha. We will not train everybody to be fighters. <laughs> you know? But we will train some of the ROTC students to be cyber warriors. We will train some of them to be engineers, uh, combat engineers, some of them to be uh, medical uh, doctors and nurses in the field, yeah. so and so on. Yeah. Interject lang ako sa nabanggit mo kasi yung bakit di tayo, di ba yung mga Chinese na nagagay ng mga buoy? Oh, oh, yes, yes. yes. So why can't we protect the bear, uh, share mother with buoys, our lake, sea lakes, with buoys also? Uh, well, ma'am, kasi bawal po ito. Bawal. No? Because this serve as hazards, maritime hazards. It is against the law. So tayo, as we always say, we believe in the international rules-based order. So hindi tayo lalabag sa mga batas. Even if kaya natin gawin. For instance, yung pag-water cannon, may water cannon din tayo. Pero hindi natin ginagawa. Wala tayo laser. Marami na sa diso. Wala laser. Marami dyan. Hindi pa kayo ginagawa yan, no? Hindi ba kayo i-install equipment yung mga ship natin? Oo, wala tayong mga laser pointer. Wala tayong mga laser. Military grade lasers. Laser pointer. Pero cheap, di ba? Cheap yun? We can get it, we can install it, we can develop it, di ba? Pero, again ma'am, we do not use this for offensive tactics. They did that before. Why did we not protest it before the courts? Oh, we did, ma'am. We did. Yung sa laser na yun? Yes, ma'am. Halos, halos mahigit isang daan na po yung protesta natin. Kasi, dito, sabi na, banggit na ng defense and evaluation before si si courts na Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, ang utos po nung Pangulo natin, nung nag-command conference kami, inutusan niya yung ating Coast Guard to conduct an investigation so that we could also file this uh, before international maritime safety. Tayo di ba yung Taiwanese na ano nun? Supporte natin dito ng soldier na pay for the life of the flies and proper food. Yes, yes. Yes, hello po. Tatanong lang po. Lawrence Tanhokora, Radio Pilipinas. Sir, with what's happening around the world po ngayon, sa Ukraine, tsaka sa Russia, and also sa Israel and the Hamas, personal opinion nyo sa military experts, sir, are we on the brink of World War III? Kasi... Lawrence, ha? Hindi mo, kasi marami po nagtatanong ngayon na like my friends are asking me about it and iba pa rin kung maririnig coming from the top soldier ng ating bansa. Go ahead, sir. Hindi naman. No? We, uh, maybe that is very far far from uh, 
Don't push for it. Oh, don't push for it. attention, sir. Ha? Attention sa West Philippine Sea. Yes. No, we, we, we do not believe it will uh, it will result into a world war. No? De-escalate nga, no? Then. Kasi lahat naman tayo, no, uh, all uh, peoples around the world uh, denounce war. Kasi talagang mahirap na, mahirap. In fact, nung nagsimula yung Ukraine and Russia conflict, all of us were affected. Tumaas yung, yung presyo ng gasolina. No? Uh, so, apektado lahat tayo. Buong mundo. Even the supply chains of a lot of, uh, of uh, products were affected. Kaya lahat halos tumaas yung presyo ng uh, mga bilihin. No? Uh, and, then, uh, and then now, uh, with the... Uh, the conflict happening in Israel and Hamas. Ito nga po, may mga nagsasabi na baka lahat ng mga mga terorista sa buong mundo magkaisa. Hindi naman po. Uh, no, we're not seeing that. And dito sa Pilipinas, for instance, halos wala na po tayong mga terorista no, na naiwan. Yung dati Sana. mga abusaya. Sana all. Oo, mga abusaya, mga makuti ISIS. <coughs> may mga malilita na lang sila na grupo pero yeah. hindi na po sila talaga hindi na hindi na kayang gawin yung katulad ng nangyari sa Parawan. Thank you, sir. Sir, phone and question from Princess Jordan of IDC 13. Gaano ka importante ang pagsali ng Pilipinas sa UN Security Council at paano ito makakatuno sa pwersa ng sagatang nakatulad? Sana po ay uh, isama tayo sa United Nations Security Council. But of course, uh, may, mga, oh, may mga requirements yan. But, dito, power span China, US, Russia. Oo. Oh, so, ang ginagawa po natin, anyway, kung meron po tayong gustong ipaabot sa uh, United Nations, for instance, may mga allies naman tayo sa, na members na ng United Nations Security Council. Oh, in fact, nag-reach out na tayo namin. We already have uh, efforts uh, to do that. Especially with what happened uh, last uh, Saturday, last Sunday. Okay. Hi, sir. Good morning. Let's go from that question. Sir, yung pinabanggit niyo po kanina na cyber command, nag-start na po ba kayo ng recruitment doon? And ano yung magiging mandato niya? And kailan po kaya yung magiging operation? So, hindi pa tayo nag-recruit. No? But we are already drawing up the plans for the uh, specific creation of that. Uh, madali na lang po i-create yun. Kasi meron tayong existing AFP uh, Communications, Electronic and Information Systems uh, Unit. Meron po rin po tayong cyber group existing. So we are going to combine them, these two, so that we will have a better equipped uh, cyber command. Uh, and then pati yung mga personnel nila will be combined. Yung expertise nila will be combined. But uh, of course, kulang pa ito. That's why we're going to recruit more cyber warriors. It will, uh, uh, so it will be a unit that will oversee the cyber defense in the entire armed forces of the Philippines, the entire country, and it will integrate the cyber units of the major services, the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. Kasi importante yung integration, hindi na, hindi na yung islands of uh, cyber defenses, hindi na ganun. We have to integrate everything. Okay. Possible po ba siya, or sa mga susunod na taon? Uh, namin next year. So it's already October, but inayos na namin yung mga plano. By perhaps first quarter of next year, ma-implement na natin. Sir, paano po yung requirements natin sa mga i-recruit natin na cyber warriors? Ayun, isa sa mga pinag-aaralan natin yan. Because as I said earlier, we're, we are going to relax some of the requirements. Some now. No? Uh, kailangan pa rin mag-exam sila. No? They still have to undergo medical and physical examination. Civilian? No? Civilians, yes. Uh, but, of course, medyo uh, hindi na gaano ka-strict. Yan yung salang, sir. Competitive. Very competitive. Yeah, competitive. Uh, competitive. Uh, competitive. Uh, well, yun yung isang, isang option pa natin na no? wala, pang, wala pang sigurado. But, uh, pag officer siguro makuha natin, yun nga, katulad ng mga nakukuha natin ng mga doctors, and lawyers, captain ka agad sila, hindi na sila dumagad sa lieutenant. Pero may military service training? Yes, yes. Uh, may konting military service training. Wala pa ma'am, we're still in the 
in the planning stage. Age requirement. Uh, <laughs> Okay, sir. Marlene, pag yun na sa bomba radio. Sir, with regards lang dun sa latest resource plan mission, I understand partially successful na po. So, yung isang part ko na yung nakarating dun sa PNP, Shera Madre. How long po yung tatagal ng supply na yun? At saka, kailan po tayo may schedule na bako karipulit yung uh, resource plan mission? Okay. Oh, oh, so, dun sa scheduling, medyo uh, wag muna natin i-reveal kung kailan. Uh, secret. Eh, secret. But, definitely, katulad nung nangyari nung nakaraan, no August 5, na isa lang yung nakalusod, we have to have another follow-up uh, resupply mission. So, ganun ang mangyayari. Kasi, kung hindi, eh, baka mamigwit na lang yung mga sugal natin. Ng mga <laughs> But really, they need supplies. Kasi. And then, yung uh, dati, ang rotation ng mga sundalo natin sa Ayumi Chol, for instance, was six months. Ngayon, mas madalas na. Kaya hindi mo na makikita yung mga mga ano, kalbas sarado. Nakapag-shake. Oo, nag-shake. Pag may mga kasalanan, doon natapot siya. <laughs> Pero sir, kano katagal yung ay tatagal ng mga supply na una lang na ipadarit? Huwag nga sasabihin, tayo nga security yan, no? Uh, Pero, kulang, kulang. That's it. That's enough. Na. Sir, may mga balita-lita na meron daw kinukuha yung China ng mga vloggers dito sa Pilipinas para sa propaganda talaga. So, may monitoring ba tayo? Uh, hindi lingit sa ating kaalaman <laughs> <laughs> na ginagawa nila yun. Uh, may propaganda machinery sila. Kaya ta, magbantay tayo sa fake news. Uh, but they do that around the world, not just here. Secret lang. Secret lang. So, what is your action? How do you do that? Well, uh, of course, we're going to sit down. I'm going to ask you the details. Okay, okay. Sir, you're going to ask me? Well, uh, basically, we, that's the, the reason why we have our public affairs and our spokesperson. To always tell the truth. No? Because you can only... Uh, defend from these fake news if uh, uh, ang military then and our different uh, public affairs to include the entire machinery of our government of telling the truth and uh, of course with the help of our media partners. Kayo naman po yung nagiging tulay namin para mas mapalaga na po natin ang katotohanan para sa ating mga mga. Thank you po. <laughs> uh, last na lang sir to wind up. Ah, let's go sir. Si Joseph muna. Gentlemen, good morning. Morning. Yes, sir. Morning. Tato, no, may balita kanina, yung foreign at uh, defense minister ng China ay uh, sinibak. Yes, sinibak na. Yan po ba tayong natanggap na information? At kung anong dahilan, bakit sinibak ito? Yung announce kanina ni Tibo? Wala, sir. Wala, kung wala rin kaming uh, alam na rason kung bakit sinibak sila. Uh, Actually, if you remember, si DICT Secretary who first announced that when he was given. Uh, well, hindi po namin alam eh. Baka mas malaki po. Alam niyo, hindi lang sila nakatutok dito sa West Philippines eh. Sa buong mundo sila nakatutok. Sa Sudan, sa lahat. All the way to Africa. Uh, so, thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank this opening statement. In what sense? Well, uh, kasi nga, naging escalate na ito. Alam nyo yung kinakatakutan natin, yung talagang magbanggahan. And you, you were there, you, you experienced that. Very close, no? Halos tayo, tayo ang umiiwas. Umiiwas. Yes, we, we, we stop our ships. No? Because they keep on, they keep on, uh, Conducting this uh, very dangerous, dangerous maneuvers. Imagine crossing the path, crossing the path of a of a uh, vessel that's moving uh, forward. That's very dangerous. No, dapat hindi ginagawa yon. Thank you, ma'am. Dapat hindi ginagawa yung mga tactical ganon. In fact, bawal na bawal ngayon eh. Bawal na bawal yon sa sa maritime rules. Hmm? 
good na ikakat mo yung path ng isang barko. So, that's why we're worried na baka mag-escalate pa ito. Sana hindi na. Sana hindi na. If we, sabi nila, they practice restraint, hindi totoo yun. Tayo ang nagpa-practice ng restraint. Kasi ang utos natin sa ating mga sailors, let's practice maximum tolerance. Iwas-iwas na lang tayo, iwas-iwas para hindi bumangga. Eh, yung nangyari nung Sunday, tayo ang binangga. Binangga tayo sa likod. No? Kaya yung likod yung tama natin. At yung post guard rin natin, yung, yung rear portion, ang tinamaan din. It's, uh, sinabi niyo po kanina na the President ordered the investigation with purposes of um, maybe filing maritime organizations. Can we have more details about it lang during the meeting? Well, during the meeting? well uh, so, uh, about uh, more than an hour. Um, the meeting was over an hour, but, but the president uh, gave that specific uh, instruction to the Coast Guard, to the new commandant of the Coast Guard, the Admiral Gaban. No? That's his first task. To uh, file. No? Uh, to investigate, you know, investigate, come up with a report so that this could be used as a uh, basis. Time, timeline. Come for, up with a report. Time he said time. one week. Oh. How long can you do that? He said one week. No? So. <laughs> This can be used as a as a basis for our filing of a protest before international maritime uh, regulatory bodies. So. Sir, um, yun pong China has always been very consistent with the message that we should pull out Sierra Madre. Um, but of course, our position is not, we're not, we're not going to do that. We're not going what to. are we doing to maybe fortify? Uh, <laughs> well, sa ngayon, sa ngayon, uh, what we can only do is to make it more habitable yeah. no? sa mga tropa kasi ang hirap, mahirap tumira sa isang uh, nakita niyo naman yung condition ng barko yeah. na yun, mahirap tumira Nang, uh, that you are safe you are uh, healthy comfortable, yeah. mahirap, mahirap so, yun na lang yung ginagawa natin para sa mga tropa natin. Pero hindi natin iwan yan. And very specific yung utos ng ating Pangulo. So, hindi natin iwan yan na uh, ayunin. So, Non-negotiable cabinet. Yes. Did you repeat that message during the meeting? Yes, yes. Yes, it was repeated in that uh, Did you remind him about the bong-bong rockets? Ah, no. <laughs> But, uh, we must equip Sierra Madre with bong-bong rockets. But he saw that and nakita niya nung yung bong-bong rockets na nag-display sa Navy. Nasa museum. Gano'n kalaki yun? Di ba sa Navy? Uh, uh, siguro mga 2 meters long. Uh -huh. And mga ganyan lang yung diameter niya. Uh, maybe as big as... Uh, 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 sa range niya? Ay, yung range. Hindi ko alam yung range. <laughs> Pero malaki yung range. So, sir, picture yun. So, 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 Wala naman, wala na rin. Wala na yung mga company na yun. Wala na rin. So kung ano magka the Philippine Defense proposed to the Philippine Defense Industry Dina, meron na meron bang talagang company na naka, ano, nakatutok na o yes. meron na AFP na... Yes, ma'am. And then, hindi naman kinakilangan na tayo mag-develop from scratch. Oh. Pwede tayo mag-joint uh, venture with other companies. Okay. And then they manufacture here. Oh. Pero may proposal ulit si Secretary Chigoro. Oh. Uh, yun po yung kagandahan nung, nung uh, galing sa private sector. Yeah. Uh, nakikita niya lahat ng mga possibilities. Another possibility, he said, is that uh, we could partner with uh, other countries, with private corporations there, for for us to develop, let's say, a joint... Uh, Nabanggit yan, Netherlands. Uh, yung joint uh, research and development joint R&D for instance. Okay. Na ang mangyayari is that uh, mag-share tayo ng intellectual property rights. So yes. kung ano man mag-develop abroad would be shared with us. 
We so, co-own it. We not, co-own it. Not just user, sabi niya doon last week. Napagaganda. Okay. Last na ha. Last na kasi hindi na ako makita pa. Parang shadow na lang po. Hi sir. Last na lang po, Christian na sorry sa Pilaras. A little related from Sir Joseph's question. Recently, may mga analyst na nagsasabi na kaya siguro aggressive yung China sa pagbabantay sa Ayumi eh dahil nga luma na yung PRP siya ng Mabe. Do you see na threatened ang mga Chinese knowing na namomonitor nila na may mga resupply missions carrying construction materials to repair the PRP siya ng Mabe? Ang uh, alam namin is that nagbabantay sila dahil gusto nilang kunin yung Ayumi. Uh, how can you threaten China with one billion people and so on. Gusto nilang kunin. Yung, uh, yun lang yung ownership. In fact, no, in fact, yung Sikatuna Shoal, which is only 16 nautical miles away from Palawan, nandun na yung kanilang Navy. Pag, pag umakanda rin yung ating oh. Liza May, oh. pagdating sa Sikatuna Shoal, oh. mayroon kagad na ka shadow oh, na Navy. Tatago sila. People's na- Liberation Army Navy. A Navy? Di ba ba walang gray ship doon? Yun na ka ba, 60 nautical miles away. Oo. Di ba usapan no gray ship, only white ships? Ay, di naman ma'am. Wala naman. Kasi meron naman freedom of navigation. Okay. No? Oh. Uh, but, ito nga po. Ang isipin na lang natin, napakalayo nila. Kung titignan mo yung mapa, there are so many nautical miles yeah. away from China. And yet, they, they claim it is their territory. Ang sabi nga ni Secretary Gibo, nine stitches. <laughs> yes, uh, 9-9 naging 10-9. No? So again, napakalayo. No? For me, they have no business being in the West Philippines. Ang katawa din sa akin. Okay. Sir. May bayad na eh. Sir, lang. Doon sa worried na statement, sir. Worried that China might do what? Might escalate further. In in escalate meaning in terms of what kind of for example action. for example now we we say that this is a deliberate action that they did. They might deliberately ram our ships, you know, endangering the lives of our sailors. But parang iba lang pa yun. Parang kanti lang eh. Parang pinitik lang tayo sa sa tayo. But you know we're worried. Something happens. Uh, Relatedly, um, ano yung sinabi niyo po ng other possibilities in terms of delivering uh, supplies to Sierra Madre? Sir, what do you think of a joint role with other parties? That's a possibility. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. So, tinitignan natin lahat ng mga options that we have. For instance, options lang to. We're not saying. Uh, na, na sa akin na namin that we could use also a Navy ship in resupply kasi Navy ship naman yung i-resupply mo. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Yun lang mababaw pero yun niya. You can have uh, smaller vessels na Navy. Uh, pero we're avoiding gray to gray. Pero, you know, we we still can do that kasi na Navy. Why should it stop you? And, and yes ma'am, why should it, it stop us? And who are they to tell us that it's not possible? With other countries, that's another option. Well, we're still learning, but that's another option. Para every month, there's a joint patrol. What are you undergoing? There are a We had a lot of uh, joint patrols already. Not just discussions. We're just doing it. But we're just doing it. No, we're just doing it. We're just doing it. How 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 often? We have already one with the U.S. And we have how one open? with Canada. Well, ngayon kasi simula, nagsisimula na tayong explore yun, ang joint sale, joint sale. With, with Japan, nag joint sale na rin tayo. Ang mas lumagang option. Ngayon, may tumating na... May regularity. Yes, yes, yes. So, so hindi lang yung uh, we're dependent on which ships would arrive. Uh-huh. May tumating na, na ship from New Zealand. So oh. we're we're going to do a joint sale again with that. But yun ya, we need regularity wow. uh, to emphasize that uh, really uh, this does not belong to China. Yeah. 
but uh, it really send a signal yes, that, uh, but we are really you know uh working with uh allies and partners you brought it up with the allies yes yes Pero sana, sana, yung mga ASEAN partners naman natin, oh, please sound off. <laughs> eh, okay, may mga ban naman sila, very supporting. Uh, Depends kay Perry, hindi mo naman sa atin na, China is even trying to create vision in ASEAN. That's what they find. Depends on the defense minister. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, have you sounded them out about this? Uh, I I have, uh, of course, uh, close ties already with uh, the defense chiefs of uh, the ASEAN nations. Uh, also, for instance, the uh, prime minister of uh, Cambodia used to be the head of the army. So we, we were having a... Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, kaibigan na kami. So oh. may, mga, may mga alliances tayo na ganyan, mga partnerships here. If you can break through the Cambodian... Uh, uh, kaibigan natin sila. They're our friends. Uh, Asayan, kaibigan uh, more on China than Cambodia. You can break that, no? No, lahat po yan, kaibigan natin. Okay. Sabi nga ni Presidente, we are friends to all enemies to none. Okay, foreign policy. At that point, I would like to ask you a closing remark, sir. Well, uh, once again, thank you, Ma Marichu, for inviting me. Uh, this is uh, the first time again that uh, I I came here to your Kabihan after a very long time, but I'm very happy that More than you, today. You, know, we, you gave us the opportunity, the armed forces of the Philippines, to uh, express uh, uh, and to tell the truth, uh, to tell the truth, really. There's so many uh, fake news going around, especially with the proliferation of uh, technology that can really spread news at an instant. You know? So please be on the lookout. And again, uh, be assured that your armed forces of the Philippines will always uh, be professional. And for this election, we will make sure you know, that this election is orderly, peaceful, and honest. Thank you very much, AFP Chief of Staff, General Romeo Brown Jr., for facing our copies of Manila Day. I hope you can uh, spare us some other time if there, there's a need for you to sound out again the public, the copies of Manila Day is open to you. And prepare for anniversary coming up soon in December, right? Oh, yes. Malapit yes. Oh, malapit na po yung anniversary ng Armed Forces of the Philippines. We will celebrate on uh, December 21 uh, of this year. And on that note, I can also invite you ahead of time. Sino gusto mo padala sa AFJ anniversary? Oh, yes. Sir, what the rapper? May rapper ba? Yung mga attendees na pakunta sa Ayuin Shol. Thank you very much. Thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat.